Okay, welcome to video two, everybody, for the uh, new Microsoft Security Essentials review. As uh, you saw in video one, we installed Microsoft Security Essentials fully updated. We actually have a rogue right now. As you can see, Secure Veteran looks it's a fake uh, Windows Security Center. But uh, I got three more here that I want to test, and then I'll do a full scan with MSE and see if it finds anything extra. Caught that one. Check out the details here. Trojan Downloader. Clean the computer. Quick. I think I caught that one. And that one's dead again. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to do a full scan. Make sure that it's updated. Yep. And let's scan and see if it finds anything. Uh, while this is scanning, I'm going to pause the video. And there you go, there's a fake security center alert. So, I'm going to pause the video and I will be back when uh, MSC is done scanning. See you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, scan just finished and uh, while the scan was running I had another pop-up here uh, from Security Center about a potential threat. Let's check out what it is. It's uh, probably that same um, Trojan rogue, whatever you want to call it, as uh, has been popping up constantly, so we'll clean that out. Okay, and I guess that was the only thing that needed to be cleaned. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer, see if it catches anything on uh, early load. I'll uh, pause the video. And I'll be back when it's done restarting to download uh, malware bytes and give that a spin. All right, back in a second. Okay, uh, Windows is now restarting. So we'll see if we get that uh, rogue pop up again. No, no rogues are kind of a wishy-washy subject for a lot of uh, antivirus companies. I know that they're just starting to get into the business of taking care of rogues um, on a more consistent basis. So uh, this is uh, interesting here. I, it's a temp file that's trying to run. Whatever. I'll uh, close that out. And that's running. So that's good. Security Central's is up and running. That looks like that rogue is gone. It's nice to see. Let's uh, download malware bytes. Download the free version here. Now I'm going to go quick through this install because uh, you guys seen me install it before and there's nothing real magical to it. Push next a lot of times, let it update and run a scan. <laughs> so I like to uh, keep my reviews to uh, two videos if I can. Um, anything longer and people tend to get bored. So there'd be no point. Okay, let's see here. It's uh, finishing installing. I 
Now the reason this window always looks weird in my videos is because I've actually increased the size of all the writing on uh, the XP machine here so it's easier for you guys to see um, on YouTube. Double check again, it's updated. Alright, now I'm going to run a uh, quick scan like I always do and I'll write a run for a couple seconds here and then I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to come back when it's uh, all done to see uh, what kind of stuff we got. See we got a couple of things already popping up here so I will be back in a second. Okay so malware bytes just finished scanning and it said it found 10 things so let's take a look and see what it found. In reality it uh, didn't find much of anything. It found some temp files it's no big deal. I found a registry value that got uh, left over. That's also for the temp files. And there's that temp file. So I have a feeling that if I uh, cleaned out this uh, computer by cleaning out the temp files, all these would be gone. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm actually going to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, let's run the system cleaner here. System tools, this cleanup. Make sure it gets temporary files, recycle bin. And after it does that, I think I'm going to download CC Cleaner because I know that does a much better job of cleaning uh, all the temp files out. I like uh, getting the slim cleaner, uh, no toolbar, no extra languages, nothing like that. Just pure simple cleaner. Exit malware bytes real quick. I'm gonna install CC Cleaner. Very simple install. I'm not gonna add it to Recycle Bin the context menu. I don't need to do that. Let's run the cleaner. Yep. So it did find some extra stuff. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run malware bytes again. See if it finds those same things again. So what what I'm gonna do when this is running again? I'm going to pause the video one more time and I'll be back. Okay, um, just did another scan here. As you can see, a lot of those things have disappeared. The one thing I forgot to tell you guys is when you clean temporary out files when you're doing a test, at least when I am, um, there's a safety feature built into CC Cleaner that um, it only deletes files in the temp folder older than 24 hours. I, if you don't uncheck that, um, especially when I'm doing a test like this, it will not delete those files because they're not, you know, 24 hours or older. So it got rid of those, and as you can see, it only missed two of them here. Um, registry entry and a temp file here. So as you can see, um, and these were fairly new links too. So, as you can see, Microsoft Security Essentials didn't do that bad. Uh, personally, I would pair it up with a really good firewall, something like Komodo Internet Security with their uh, Defense Plus to take care of anything that uh, Security Essentials might miss. And um, I'm sure as their signatures catch up, uh, if something accidentally squeaked by, Defense Plus would definitely catch it if you set it up uh, in proactive mode. So, uh, there you guys go. That's the... Uh, new Microsoft Security Essentials and uh, show you guys here it is the new one and it's uh, not a bad product and uh, I'll be uploading these videos now to my YouTube account uh, subscribe if you like what you see more will be coming down the pipeline and you guys have a good night take care